Welcome back Kerbonauts and Space Maniacs, it's that man Leroy here playing some more Kerbal Space Program. Now, <clears throat> I have, I, this did, I, did, I did a clean install on the Kerbal game and I downloaded a shit ton of modifications. As you can see by my list, it's, it's grown quite expansively. The lists of props and um, everything, I have so much stuff. But one of the mods I wanted to play today was um, the, the Kethane mod. Which basically you, you can scan f scan other planetary bodies for fuel, and you can drill into them. I've got drills here. If I can show you the drills, if I remember what they are, uh, drills. Like this big old thing here. You see that shit? And that basically drills into the ground and extracts fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up an unmanned probe craft today, and we are going to send into orbit the planet Minmus or the Moon Minmus. And see what's what. Also, mods I've got. <coughs> excuse me. I have a mod which may, makes the Kerbals need to have food. Food and water, and they develop waste. What's that? Has that got mecha? That's got mech on it. Sweet. Delta V. Oh, I've got the mech jeb. I've got loads of mech jeb bits and pieces for help. Turbo fan engine. I've got the B9 aerospace packet. One thing I'd advise if you're going to download mods. Certain large mods like the B9 Aerospace Pack, which contains maybe 230 or 240 new parts, and the KW Rocketry Pack, you're going to want to get a couple of um, reductors. <coughs> excuse me for these these things because they take up a whole lot of RAM. I think the B9 one takes three and a half gig of RAM to load. So I would really advise reducing some of the textures. I mean, you can barely notice the textures. If I was to put that down on that, come here. I mean, unless you you sat this close to the rocket, you're not really going to notice the texture problem. And if you pull back, you see it's, it still looks pretty fucking cool. <gasps> oh, excuse me again. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <clears throat> but we are going to make a little tiny probe. We're going to launch a little tiny probe at Minmus. <gasps> Minmus. One, two, five expanded, eh? One, two, five expanded. One, two, five expanded. One, two, five expanded. One, two, five expanded. Doesn't fucking fit together. Those fit together like that. And now we need some more one, two, five wall. There you go. <clears throat> Beautiful. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Ooh. Now to fix this. So those... What's up there, Jeb, down the bottom there? I see you walking through my rocket. Um, so you're going to fire last, and you're going to break. What's that one for? I don't even know what that was for. Whatever. Break, break. Break. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Whatever. Let's see if we can get this up, shall we? This will be called the Minmus Probe. Probe UE. Min Min Probe. Save that shit. Hopefully that should get us up somewhere. Let's go to the launch pad. Let's go and see, shall we, boys and girls? <laughs> Custom biomes. Um, biome sets. Oh yeah, this is a new one. I have got... 
a load of look at all this fucking biome. That's the that's the Kerbin biome. We got this biomes thing here. Go away. What the fuck is this? Rendezvous planner. Fuck off. Mechjeb. Fuck off. Custom biomes. What's this? Fuck off. Yeah, we got up here we've got a new a thing. You got the fuel balancer. We've got life support monitoring window. The custom biomes menu. I've got loads of new shit to play with. I need to unlock that and move it somewhere. I'm gonna put you. What's that? There. For flight, right? Let's see. T S A S on. Go. Look how stable that rocket is, man. I think I've done rather well there. What I want to do is get rid of, at this point, I want to get rid of this one and this by itself. And that one by itself. So that one breaks all by itself. Exciting. And it's not even tipping over. Look at this shit, man. Look how beautiful that is. The fairings. I love these mods. Seriously, whoever's watching this, flats, if you're watching this especially, get some mods, mate. It will enhance your experience to, like, ridiculous amounts. I've got fucking Mechtib over here. Autopilot. Space plane. Smart ASS. Smart ass. Yeah, haha. Ha. Surface info. I can check everything out. Look at all these little fucking things, man. Orbit info. Now this 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 utilities this is some of the shit that is makes this game even more fun. Do you know what I mean? Translation is there. Let's start dropping that a little bit. Don't need to go that fast. <laughs> Saving on fuel. I got. Do I even have anybody in with me? Nope. There's no people in here. I got no one in here. This is a fully automated mech jeb controlled. See this work, shall we? Are ready? Yeah! <laughs> All right. I know you got to angle it right the way down, like so. Resources on for the stage. Finally, I'm not quite sure how I did this, but we are back. We are. We are. We are now orbiting the planet fucking Minmus with my little scanner on. In a minute, I'm going to show you, once I just sort this node out, I'm going to show you how this scanner works and how it operates. If I can find my... um, There it is. Ooh, stop moving. This is taking me hours upon hours. Flads, I hope you're happy, mate. I was, if, if I was in a group this game, then quite frankly, I would have um, already scanned for Cathane. I would have already fired a rover up. And everything would have been hunky-dory. But I didn't, and I'm not, so. <laughs> Let me see, it took me about, I've been on this since about 3 o'clock. It's now 6 o'clock. This probe has... This, some of these mods have um, changed the way the game works in the sense that I've now got to worry about electricity a hell of a lot more than I would normally. Especially since I'm running Mechjeb and not. It's not a manned flight per se. This flight is purely automated. Because I plan for this, this little machine here to, to just fly around this planet. You see my um, orbit changing, changing its planes there. 
Uh, that'll do, I suppose. <clears throat> right. Now then. Let's fire up the old uh, sensor. If you can hear it beeping. Let's flip to map view. Let's click the cathane overlay. And there we go. Right. Now we're starting to scan for cathane. So if we uh, fast forward it slightly. Not quite sure what colour the cathane will be. So far, <laughs> I have found nothing. Something would be nice. Uh oh. Oh, that was lucky. The dark side of the moon had me. <clears throat> so is there actually anything on this? Anything on this moon would be nice, you know what I mean? So far, nothing. No cathode on any of my any anywhere so far. So we're gonna change change planes. We're gonna go up a little bit. Slow the right down so I can get to it. Change plane slightly. Come on you bastard. <clears throat> Still nothing. <coughs> Am I still? I should be high enough to still stick, still continue scanning. Come on, find me something. <clears throat> so that's the Ketane scanner, guys. So far, it's proved less than useful. As I've found nothing. At all. Not a sausage. <laughs> but you can see how it works. If you guys would like me to play some more of this mod in particular. I've got a feeling if there is someone here I'm going to find it. And I'm going to land and I'm going to start building like a, um, a refinery. I'm on the night side here it's going to jump forward. So yeah, if you'd like to see some more of this, that was this not the most interesting episode, I won't tell a lie. This was not the most interesting episode of all. It took me far too long to build this poxy, uh, this poxy probe. <clears throat> but it looks pretty cool and it has got return earth capabilities with this on it. The nuclear rocket. So if you'd like to um, see some more of this guys, please let me know. I'm sure some of you will, some of you won't. <coughs> the next one I promise will be much more interesting. Much love and stay safe.